what's up guys, welcome to my short video. Now if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, what is the best car I can possibly buy in Vehicle Legends? Well today, I'm gonna answer that question for you guys. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, now our first car on this list is gonna be the Koenigsegg Jesko. Now if you're anything like me, you probably love this hybrid car. It's probably one of your favorites. Now if we go ahead and look around it, it's got all opening parts, an opening frunk, opening doors that go up, and an opening engine bay. And if we look in the engine, it's very detailed. Same with the rest of the model, including the interior. So, to start, that makes this car great. It's a great model. Now, besides the model, it also has some insane performance that I'm gonna go ahead and showcase right now. All right, and we are on the highway race. We're gonna go ahead and see what this car's top speed is and how fast it can complete this race. So, let's go ahead and get up to top speed real quick. So as you can see, we're like easily getting over 300, obviously. So right here, we're gonna go head over it. And now it's looking like we're maxing out at 315 without boost. And with boost, we can go 231 miles per hour. Not bad. But if you wanna get a Koenigsegg Jesko, that will set you back $3.5 million. All right, our next car on this list is gonna be the Apollo IE. Now, some people might argue this looks even better than the Koenigsegg Jesko. I mean, it does look pretty phenomenal, but that is up to you to decide which one looks better. But we do need to test the performance. So let's go ahead and see what the top speed is on this car. All right, we are on the highway race right now. Let's go ahead and see what this top speed is gonna be on this car now. I'm gonna predict maybe 350-ish miles per hour, so let's see if I'm correct. All right, without boost, we actually only go 292, okay. With boost, we can reach 301. Okay, so I was a bit off about the top speed, but I believe this car is made for the track, not top speed, so do a time lapse of me doing the circuit race with it. All right, and we were able to finish the circuit race in 73.51 seconds. Not bad at all. All right, and in order to own one of these, it'll set you back $4.1 million. All right, the next car on our list is gonna be the Bugatti Sento Tedieschi. Now this thing looks insane. It's got a great model. Overall, I would say it's a pretty sick looking Bugatti. All right, now we are on the highway race with this car. We need to see what the top speed on it's gonna be. Let's go ahead, get it up to that top speed real quick. All right, this thing definitely feels quicker to get to the top speed than the other cars that we've tested so far, so I like that. Looks like it's gonna be 248 without boost and with boost, 261. Okay, that is actually really impressive, wow. But the thing about this car is if you're gonna wanna own it, it's gonna set you back $9 million. All right, now the next car on this list is probably gonna be the best car you can buy in this game, and here's why. Everything about this car from the looks, to the top speed, to the circuit performance is great. Now, it might not be the fastest top speed, but it is really good at going all around doing every race decently. Now, it can definitely beat almost every car. Only car that I can think of that it might not be able to take down on the highway race or drag race would be the boost truck, but on the circuit race, I would say this thing's taking the bag on there. Like. This thing just is the best all-around car from looks to performance. So let's go ahead, test it out in the highway race first. All right, and we are on the highway race. Let's go ahead and see what the top speed on this car is. Now, I've had this car for a while, but I, for some reason, can't remember the top speed right now. So I think it might be around 400-ish. I don't know, though. So without boost, 361. With boost, um... 370, okay, yeah, so I was close. It's 370 miles per hour, pretty good top speed. But I wanna do a time lapse on the circuit race with it, so let's go ahead and cue that right now. All right, and we finished in 78 seconds. Now, I did make like two small errors while racing, so I think I could have probably gotten under 70 seconds if I didn't make those errors. So this car is definitely pretty good at the circuit, but it was a user manual error. I don't know, I guess that's what happened with it. All right, now if you want this car, it's gonna set you back $13 million. So definitely a pricey one. 
All right, now last but not least is definitely the fastest car in the game. It literally goes 1,000 miles per hour, and I'm not exaggerating. It can actually do that. So we need to start off by seeing how fast it can complete the drag race. All righty. Look at this, guys. Look at how fast we're already going. That was like 600 miles per hour right there. In 2.7 seconds, we did that race. Let's go ahead and see how fast we can do the highway race. All right, we are on the highway race, and it's time to test out the boost truck. I wonder if we'll even be able to hit the top speed on here, or, or if um, this road is too small for it to do that. Ooh, we almost lost control there, but we regained it. It's good, it's good. We literally went over 1,000 miles per hour there. I don't know if you guys saw that. We finished in 10.88 seconds, jeez. But the thing about this car is, it'll set you back $60 million. The most expensive car in the game. Um, Yeah, I don't know if most people would be able to get this one, but still a cool car if you could get it. Well, I hope I helped you find the best car for you to buy in Vehicle Legends, so drop a like if I did, I would truly appreciate it. Also, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.